here I've got this protective stuff. So you could paint it or something if you wanted. If you guys don't want to see these these screws, you can just drill drill the hole a little bit deeper and let the screw go in inside. So we just need to take the edges off this now so you don't kill yourself with it. I think the easiest way for me to clamp it onto the table and I'll be able to cut the edges. <laughs> and then you fire in the background. I was just listening to a video about exploration. That's what I'm going to be doing mainly. Yeah. The first, the only ship I'm going to buy is the 315P. Exploration ship. After that, I'll just buy the, any other ships within the game. But when I start, I'm going to buy the 315P. All I've got is the Mustang right now, but when I have some spare money, I'm going to buy the um, 315. I'm thinking I should probably buy it before the update because I don't know if the price will go up after the update but I'm going to buy that ship either way that's going to be my starting ship but yeah just simple enough you can choose how much you want to chop off just by moving this up and down I'm just chopping as soon as it reaches the edges I'll show you how it secures to the table and how solid it is now. It's hard for me to um, show you the strength of this without shaking the camera. So, um, but this put my whole weight on this and more I'm trying to pull it off there's no way that's coming off solid the hand file. I shouldn't really use a bigger file but it gets the job done. So I filed off all the sharp edges. I ain't got a bigger file than that. You should use a bigger file really. I need to get one. But it was easy enough with that so with a big file it'd be no problem at all. Um, and you when you if I use the um hacksaw you can basically if you you're going so slow you can basically cut the curve with the hacksaw you don't have to file much um, I didn't realize that at first I was just cutting straight lines and then filing so much but yeah you can go around the curve with the hacksaw and keep the plastic protection on because you can see I scratched mine up but that bit's going to get covered anyway but you could spray it as well if you wanted what you have to do now is um, whatever joystick you've got I've got the um, T16000 so I've got the big base where I'm going to measure the holes for the screws and then cut it. So the way I'm going to connect mine to the base is just with these bolts. So to take the base off, just like take these screws out. You can do it a different way if you like, but this way works for me. And then um, just put this base onto you know, I'll show you. Just put the base on where exactly where you want it and then just drill through straight and just mark the holes. Once you've marked the holes you can drill straight through. Before you flip it around and screw it back on, put the bolts back on these so you, the screw don't drop back inside there.
we could probably make this a bit shorter and use those capping bolts, the rounded ones, so you don't stab yourself in the lip. That's not the best. Nuts and bolts. But yep, yeah, simple as that. Three bolts. That's it guys, that's the finished product. Anything else would just be cosmetic if you wanted to paint it or um, sand it all down and then polish it basically. You go to finer and finer grades and you can get rid of all these scratches. So, yeah, other than that, just basically the whole thing there. Solid. I mean, it's too solid. You would, Not too solid, but for what it's going to hold the joystick and then Yep, it's all the solid. You can adjust the tightness of this clamp so you can crush your desk if you want. Because that's what is going to happen. None of this is going to bend before your desk crushes. Unless your desk is made out of steel or something. But yeah, that's it, guys. Subscribe for more videos like this.